Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I'd like to talk with you for a while. Uh, there's a scripture that says, After some days, when Felix came with his wife Drusilla, who was Jewish, he sat for Paul and heard him concerning the faith in Christ. You know, it's not easy for most of us to begin a conversation with people we don't know well. It's even harder to start a witnessing conversation with people we do know well, don't you think? And yet, I was thinking that one of the things that Jesus Christ asked us to do, in fact, he commanded us to do, was to be his witnesses and to make disciples. Those are two commands that he gave to us just before he went back to heaven. And I was thinking, how do you start a conversation with someone that's directed toward witnessing to them of their faith in Christ, their need for it? One of the ways that I have done this that has worked in some cases is just to uh, begin talking to people and say, have you ever thought about uh, spiritual things? Do you ever think about spiritual things? And you're going to get a lot of different kinds of answers. Some of them will be weird and some of them will be uh, surprising, uh, good. Then I, then I follow that up and I'll say, can I share with you the most wonderful thing that ever happened to me? I actually have never had someone say, no, I don't want to hear the most wonderful thing that happened to you. And I think the reason is they're hoping I just won the lottery and I'm going to share, okay? So I got their attention. Anyway, I just tell them about my life before I became a Christian and how actually it was successful in business but emotionally was bankrupt. And um, how someone had told me about his friend, his best friend, who could make a real change in my life and fill what was missing in my life, that person introduced his friend to me and now his friend is my best friend and he has changed my life. Of course, you probably know I'm talking about Jesus Christ, he's my best friend. But I've used that numerous times just to start a conversation. Can I tell you about my best friend? I don't even say Jesus initially, I just say my best friend. And that gets the conversation started without me being angry, without being hostile, without being accusatory, just to start the conversation because the truth is every person who doesn't know Jesus is needy of knowing him. They all need to know him. Uh, most of the time people that don't know him are defensive and fearful of what's going to happen. All I can tell you in my life Nothing but good happened in my life when I gave my life to Christ. It's he's totally changed my whole life. Anyway, I just want to invite you to come to our church. We meet on Sundays at 10.40 a.m. And you're welcome to come join us. Please do and say hi when you come. I'd like to meet you.